Hi, I'm Erica. I am a professional meal prepper, otherwise known as a personal chef. And since we're officially entering fall, my favorite season of the year, I figured it would be fun to bring you along with me while I do a really lovely, cozy, really comforting and easy meal prep for fall. So I designed this menu so that everything can mix and match really well together. As always, I'm a family style meal prep gal, but this works really well for composed meal prep. I'm gonna be dropping links for all the recipes that we cook down below, but I'm also going to be dropping major tips throughout this video. So stick around, we're gonna cook together, we're gonna do a little learning together. It's gonna be really fun. Let's get into this cozy fall meal prep. So following my handy dandy game plan that I keep in my clean phone, I'm getting started with the farro because I know that it's gonna take at least 40 minutes. You should always start with a thing that's going to take long. I explain a little bit more about the game plan in my Q&A video. I'll drop a link down below so you can check that out as well. Once this farro is cooked, it's going to turn into a delicious green salad with goat cheese, cranberries, some scallions, a really yummy mustardy dressing. We'll talk more about the dressing later in the video. And I'm also rounding it out with some white beans to make it appropriate to be a meal prep main because the bean and grain pairing makes a complete protein. We've also got some delicious craisins because it wouldn't be a fall meal prep if we didn't have craisins. Okay, we're cooking in earnest now. I got suited up, my apron is on, my hair is up, Pharaoh's on the stove. I'm going to move on to the next thing that I know is going to take a little bit of time, which is my sausage sheet pan meal. This is a dish that consists of some really good roasted veggies I'm gonna slice some bell peppers, some onion, and a sweet potato, one of my favorite fall veggies. And then I'm gonna roast those off with a little bit of mustard, a little bit of maple syrup, some spices, salt, all that good stuff. And then I'm going to nestle in some delicious apple sausage. Apple sausage just screams fall to me. I also love that sausage is something that you can find a vegan or vegetarian sub for really easily. And this dish works as a vegan option as well. I'm gonna get to preheating the oven and getting this sausage into it. Okay, now that I have my sheep pan meal in the oven, my farro going on the stove, I'm gonna get to starting with this cabbage slaw. This is the game plan in action. I am going to have something on my cutting board, on my stove, and in my oven all at once, which is multitasking at its finest. This slaw is so simple, but very autumnal. I use a green cabbage, but a red cabbage would work perfectly fine. It's also got some radishes, some herbs, some apple. You can't have a fall meal prep without some apple elements. And then it has a yummy vinaigrette because it's using cabbage, which is a cruciferous veggie. It's going to hold up in the fridge for days, which is exactly what we want for meal prep. And the flavor profile is really similar to the flavors that we've been using across all our meal prep so far so it is going to pair well with every dish on this menu, which you know I love. Okay, the slaw is done. The farrow's cooked, just pulling down and waiting to get its mix-ins to make a beautiful green salad. And the sheet pan meal is on its final stages of baking with the sausage. So it's time for me to move on to my next dish, which is a really yummy vegan pumpkin pasta sauce. I'm going to make it with some penne. I'm gonna store the penne separate from the sauce so that I can mix and match the penne with different sauces. I might even toss in some of the sausage sheet pan meal with it throughout the week. And the way that I'm going to keep the pasta fresh and from getting sticky is by, after it's cooked, tossing it with a little oil and then popping it away in the fridge. It is going to pair wonderfully with my pumpkin pasta sauce, which is creamy, but it's vegan, you would never know. The pumpkin base gets blended with some cashews, some oat milk, some nutritional yeast for that depth of flavor, salt, sage, and sometimes a little pepper depending on how I'm feeling. I'm gonna get to making this penne and we're just chugging through this meal prep pretty quickly. So let's get back to it. All 
All right, my sheep and meal came out of the oven in perfect timing because it is time to start in on my broccoli. This is a very simple roasted veggie dish and because I used foil on my sheet tray for my sausage meal, I can just reuse the same baking sheet. I planned my game plan so that I could just use one baking sheet even though I have two dishes going into the oven. So this is again, the game plan in action. I like to keep the flavor profile of my roasted veggies pretty simple because it makes for easier mixing and matching throughout the week. All I'm doing is tossing this with a little olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, and then some warming spices to give it that fall kick. Let's get started on that. Okay, we are getting close to being done. I've got my slaw here in one bowl, and then I have my completed farro in the second. Having a lot of bowls is kind of key for a successful meal prep. It lets you multitask more efficiently. You can always use big pots or the base of a salad spinner if you have that, but bowls are a great investment if you don't already have them. So while my broccoli is roasting away, I'm just going to get the farro salad put together. And then after that, we're really just cruising. I'm making a little bit of dressing and some kale that can just serve as a salad green throughout the course of the week. So let's uh, wrap this baby up. <laughs> I'll show you a little trick for getting this off the stock really easily because these stocks are just too chewy to eat in a salad, in my opinion. So to strip dinosaur kale like this, it's really very simple. We've got our stem here and our leaf surrounding it. I'm just gonna use the stem kind of like a little pull tab. I've torn a little piece of this off and then doing the same on the other side. And then it makes it easy to just grip the stem and then you just go ahead and pull on the tab and you've got just the leaf here, the stem is left pretty much clean. I'm actually using the same dressing on the slaw and the grain salad. It is a really simple dressing that's made with Dijon mustard, olive oil, maple syrup, and some apple cider vinegar along with salt. It just gets shaken together. You can do it in a jar, you can whisk it together. So I'm going to be making this dressing recipe times three. One third of it is going on my slaw, one third of it is going on my grain salad, and then the last third, I'm going to whisk a secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is tahini into it and it's going to taste quite different from the dressing that we're using on the slaw and the grain salad with just one additional ingredient so that's a little tip for you the tahini can really make things taste really different so I've been cooking for two ish hours almost and that's pretty typical for this type of meal prep we've made quite a bit of food it's gonna take about an hour to do the cleanup the photography all that good stuff so three hours in total not bad at all We did it! A delicious meal prep for fall. I'd love for you to comment below if you enjoyed this fall meal prep and you would like to see this become a seasonal series. I am a huge proponent of cooking seasonally, so I would love to do that for you if you're interested. If you like the video, obviously please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Giving it a thumbs up is one of the best things you can do to help me out and I super appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a super well fed.